You know, I usually enjoy Before Your Vows cases, but this one really amused me. Wait till you see what these people told me. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Mariah Robinson and George Bacon. The two of you are uh, considering getting married, but you weren't quite sure whether it was a good idea, so you thought you'd come to me and get my advice. I had you fill out a compatibility test, give me your license, and you gave me some information, some of which made me a little... And I'm gonna try to be rational. I really am. But, Mr. Bacon, you have 15 children, correct? Yes. That doesn't scare you? It doesn't, um, because of the relationship he has with his kids. Does it concern you that he has so many different babies, mothers, that that's his background, that's... He's a traveler. He goes from one woman to another. That, what do you believe it is about you that's going to make him change from being a traveler? Um... Uh... I mean, the, the way that, basically, I hold myself and my own morals, I, I don't... I believe that everybody can change, you know? So he has shown me himself that he's, he's not gonna go anywhere. He hasn't had other women in our relationship. I haven't... How long have you been together? We've been together for two years. We've been engaged for a year and a half. Okay. Why at, is Miss Robinson the woman for you forevermore? Look at her. She's beautiful. That's my soulmate. We have flaws. We're not perfect, but that's my soulmate right there. I feel that in my heart, so I try to stay faithful in everything that I do to her. What makes her your soulmate? Because we have a lot of things in common. She a Leo, I'm a Leo, you know. <laughs> she loves me. Are you serious? I mean, I know I'm saying we have a lot of things in common. She's a Leo, I'm a Leo. That's just one thing being said. Just, just one thing right there that we have in common. And then she's a beautiful woman inside and out. She believes in a higher power, and so do I. So that that is a big plus right there. There are a lot of people who are Leos and believe in God. Let's let's. I mean, I need to know what specifically about her it makes her different from the other women that you've been with. Cause she's Mariah. She's, she's smart. Who? She's funny. There she's we lovable. go. Smart, funny, sexy. Sexy. Uh huh. A lot of ways. A lot of ways. Yeah. That, see, that tells me a lot. So since I asked him, I'm gonna ask you, Ms. Robinson, what about Mr. Bacon? Makes you want to... Now, and, and, and feel me on this. Uh -huh. Hook up with a guy who, when employed, will not get the vast majority of his check. <laughs> because... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, mainly because... What he's shown me, he he's into me and not completely into himself. The men I've been with prior, they were all about themselves. Basically, every dime they got went to them. I got nothing. And he, he helps me around the house. It's not all about going out and him. It's about our house and us. He makes more of an effort to think about me and other things he does when he doesn't really need to. So he's considerate. Yes. And on no child support. Huh? I'm not on child support. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, yeah. I know, but I'm saying I'm you could be. No, I'm not. I understand that. But <laughs> your youngest is two. Mm-hmm. You've got a lot of financial responsibility mm -hmm. here. None of that goes away. None of that gets less. All the kids eat a certain amount of food. Oh, I understand this. I've been on this planet 37 years, so I'm I... very familiar. You got to eat to survive. I... I get that. But what I'm trying to... It, I'm making sure she understands the nature of the commitments you already have mm -hmm. in a real, meaningful way, because she's 25. Mm -hmm. And she's come here because she's not sure. And I've got an obligation to tell her how complicated it is mm. to, to take that kind of thing on. If he's spending adequate amounts of time with all of those children, that's going to suck up a lot of his time. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yes, I do understand that. So, uh, it would be... Well, anyway. Ms. Bacon, Mr. Bacon, why are you unsure that you... Th uh, that Ms. Robinson is the one for you? 
Why am I sure or not Unsure. sure? Unsure. Oh. I believe she's the one. And she has, okay. Well, like, why she are has you a couple here? Of, she has a couple of flaws that we need to work out. That's what I need to talk about. Yes. What are those flaws? What? Oh, boy. Uh, let me see. She has family members that are not family members that she talks to on a regular. Are they male family They're members? They're male family members. Mm. Do you have male family members that aren't really family members that you talk to all the time? I do. They, the ones they, he is speaking of is more of, like, family friends. You know, my family has known them. My family grew up with his family their entire lives, so... So, like, play cousins. Yeah. Yeah, play cousins. Yeah, like, now, no Mr. Ba now, Mr. Bacon, let me ask you this. Has she ever done anything suspect that, that makes you believe that she's with the play cousins? That okay. she's doing anything wrong? That she's... She got the innocent Tipping face. Tipping out what? She got an innocent face. She's sneaky. No, so, but tell me what she sneaky out, things right? she's done. She snuck out, right? I'm going to sleep, laying back, counting sheep, you know? Then I wake up, I'm all alone. I didn't know what happened. I was, somebody came in and took her away from me or something. I was about to send out Am Alert, all this. She done run out with one of her friends, one of her thought friends. One of her thought friends. Yeah. Do you have thought friends, Ms. <laughs> Robinson? <laughs> I have friends that he does not like. Yes, if that's... Did you sneak speaking. out what I night? did not sneak out at all. What happened? He knew where I was going. Me and my friend were going out to this club. We went out, um, and, you know, we took the public transportation back, and it only runs so late in the morning, you know, it's a club, so we're heading out. So you have kids, too, though, right? Yeah. And they're young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you find the time to do going out and all that kind of stuff? I, 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 I don't... I don't understand <laughs> that. I don't. It was a once in a blue moon. I don't go out like that. It's every once in a while. I hadn't been out in maybe like three or four months mm -hmm. before that. Are you currently working? No, due Are to you... a situation. Yeah, I know. You got. Shot. Do you not want to? Yeah, you got shot in the yeah, head. Yeah. What happened? He wakes up and uh, just gets an attitude with me, starts arguing with me, talking about why am I getting ready for work so early in the morning. You got up and got mad because the breadwinner was going out to win the bread. Yeah. So what happened, Mr. Mr. Bacon, when you got shot? When I got shot? Or, yeah, what, no. what were the circumstances oh. surrounding well, it just, the shooting? Well, this one individual put his hands on me and forgot that I know what I know. I know how to defend myself real good. Mm -hmm. And I beat him up. He couldn't take it. Came back. Had to shoot you. Yeah. With a 40 caliber, yeah. yeah. Did he go to jail? Um, nah. He went to jail for something else. Oh. So, um, how long ago was that? Last June. So. Last June? Yeah. So you're still unable to work for, as a function of that? Yes. Is that gonna be a permanent disability or is it something that you'll eventually recover from? Uh, I'm, I'm not for sure. I've never been shot before and they say, uh, Having a head trauma injury like that, well, head injury like that, it will take a while. To, well, what what deficits do you have as a function of the of, oh, of the gunshot? Like, I get migraines after migraines. The, the migraines that's so hard that that hurt so hard that make me sweat, vomit, mm. and stuff like that. Mm. You know what I mean, stomach okay. be twirling. And they don't and they don't really know when that's going to resolve right. or if it's going to resolve. Right. Okay. Uh, Ms. Robinson, you say that Mr. Bacon has a bad temper. Mm -hmm. yes. Get, explain that to me. Tell me what things he's done that would, would, would exemplify that. Um, when I started my new job that I just got, uh, I woke up maybe two hours before I had to actually mm -hmm. get to work and started getting ready for work, knowing that I have to take public transportation and I have to sure. have time to get ready. So. He wakes up and uh, just gets an attitude with me, starts arguing with me, talking about why am I getting ready for work so early in the morning. Can you tell me what happened? Is that an accurate reflection of what occurred that day, that you got angry? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay. And why were you angry? Because, first of all, I don't like being woke up out of my sleep. And then I wake up, my girlfriend will leave me. I'm like, uh, why are you leaving so early? We got two whole hours. You know, I want that extra hour. Give me my 60 minutes. So... You got up and got mad because the breadwinner was going out to win the bread. Yeah. I got issues. I'm sorry. You know how deep that is? Yeah, I know how deep it is. I but you don't care. Do. I do care. That's, that's why I'm here, because I care. I want it to fix. 
Like, I mean, I tell him what his problems are, like, mainly the blowing up on me. Mm -hmm. How often anything. does he... How often does he fly off the handle on any given... in any given week? I give it once a week. Once a week? Yeah. Is that accurate? Half. So maybe once every two weeks? Yeah. Are you trying to do anything about it? Do you think it's... Pro do you think your temper is problematic or is it something that, you know, she just needs to roll with? No, nah, it's... It's really due to my injury, seriously. You didn't have a temper... You didn't have an anger problem no, before the injury? I was smoother than a fan. Did he have a temper problem before the injury? And he really didn't. He was a calm person. He knew how to handle mm -hmm. himself. That's why mm -hmm. I say it might have to do something with that, but... All in fact, I mean, something has to change, because it's, it's a lot to deal with. Well... You don't really distrust her, do you, Mr. Bacon? You, you, you talk about, you know, her thought friends and all that kind of stuff, but you don't think she's running around on you, do you? Half of me do, half of me don't. What's up with the half thing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's true. <laughs> it's difficult. I want half. No, uh, she's a good one. She got some flaws, like... She tell get ready me for what work. they are. She get ready for work, right? You want to hear the flaws? Let me tell you the flaws. Look, she get ready for work. And it'd be all fine and dandy, but it's like she running around like a chicken with his head cut off. She running here, running there, running there. Then when I, you know what I'm saying? Like, before we go to sleep, house clean. House clean. But when she get up for work, it's like a whole water done kicked off in here or something. Mm -hmm. I'm talking so about she's... you got curling eyes over here, you got jail over there, then you got panty liners over there. I don't know, everything. You know what I'm saying? So I get up, I do the husband thing, I clean up, I ain't... I text her like, yeah, okay. Your complaint is that she's chaotic when she goes off yeah. to work. And that she should be a little neater. You know what I mean? When she's well, leaving. Um, her friends are thoughts, and they be on that. They like her. I be seeing the way they're Why do at. you think they like her like that? Because I know, I know women. This is true. I, <laughs> <laughs> I will give you that. Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Robinson, you say he lacks responsibility when it comes to money. Why don't you explain that to me? Um, I mean, there has been many a times, you know, that I make the money, he's on his disability or whatnot. Right. Um, so I, I'll give him some money because I don't want him to be down and out, you know maybe a couple of dollars here, a couple of dollars there, but then I'll come back to him the same day, like, after I get off work, and he's broke. It's like, where did your money go? I just gave you enough for maybe a couple of days, not eight, not even 24 hours. And a lot of times, it's like lottery tickets. Mr. Bacon, are you buying a lot of lottery tickets? I'd be winning. <laughs> Ms. Robinson, you said he's extremely jealous. He's not reading extremely jealous to me, so why don't you... Tell me the things that he does that causes you to say, contend that he's extremely jealous. It's not... Like, I did say that, I mean, he, he's, he doesn't believe me when my male friends, some of my male family are my family. He even doesn't um, like my girlfriends around me because he thinks they like me or whatnot. So... They thoughts. It's hard. But, 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 <laughs> now, it, I know what a thought is, okay? Mm -hmm. But you think that her girlfriends like her in a sexual manner? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, definitely. That's different than just thought. Text them. Text them. Yeah. Her friends are thoughts, and they be on that. They like her. I be seeing the way you looking at Why do you her. think they like her like Cause that? Because I know, I know women. This is true. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> I will give you that. Yeah. I cannot argue that okay. point at all. I cannot argue that point at all. Uh, can I get a high five or something? Can you say... Go ahead. Uh, go go ahead. Yeah, tell me something, Mr. Bacon. All right, look. Her friends be lusting for her. 
I be seeing their eyes all googly eyes. You know when you get the googly eye? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They be all over. Like, girl, you look good. Let me see you. Come here. Then, no. The girl be, I, I can't do the girl. I ain't no feminine dude. You know what I'm saying? But they be, yeah, come here. Then turn around, smack on the booty. Now, Ms. Robinson, does this happen or is he just entertaining me? No, I'm serious. I mean, every once in a while, yeah. Do you think that there might be something there, something to it that she might no, like you? No, I don't. I know she does like females, but I hmm. no, I don't like her. She don't like me. We're just friends. Excuse okay. me. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I get what he's saying, and I get yeah. what you're saying. It says like you're not interested, so why why would he be interested yeah, in what exactly. she's interested in? Because if you're not interested, it doesn't matter. Exactly. But it's disrespectful. That's true. To flirt and, and look, I'm six four. Sound like Barry White. Why would you do that in front of me? <laughs> On divorce court. Her mother is with us. Does she help no. with the kids? They could tie her up and just do what they want with her. They wouldn't tie up grandma, would they? Yes, they would. But you have 10 children. 10. 10. 10. 10. Well, I don't think I ever want to get married again. You got 10 kids. You got plenty to do. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Robinson, I get it. Why you like him. Yeah. I don't understand why you're not more concerned about his socioeconomic future. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure I understand why you believe that he's going to stop traveling now. And, I, and, and, and people change over time. He had a very traumatic event. I don't know if that changed who he was or what he wants to do or, or what's going on. Uh, I don't know why you put up with anger from a guy who's in the bed with you because you're trying to go to work. I, I'm not sure on a logical level mm -hmm. if you've thought this all the way through. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. As a practical matter, you're only 25. Yeah. But I get it. Mr. Bacon, um, you're funny. You made me laugh. And I appreciate that. Um, I hope you have made those changes that you appear to have made here. Uh, I think that people who've lived their lives in one way for 20 years don't up and change for no reason at all. And maybe you changed for the reason, you know, because of what happened to you. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But I hope you have. I will say this to you. Being a good father is a full-time business. Oh, yes. And don't create any more lives that you can't be a full-time father to with anybody. Do you understand what, what I'm saying is because... <laughs> Children learn what they see. And if they never see you or see you briefly, not how you live, not how you handle problems, not how you... You, you, you have a constant relationship with somebody in a meaningful way, they never, they never have that script to read off of. Well, I spend time with my kids all Oh, the I time. understand you, but, but there are 15 of them in different households. So as a, as a practical matter, 24-7, mm. everybody's got the same number of hours and the same number of days and the same number of weeks as everybody else is. And if you chop it up by 15, it is what it is. Okay, my so you can hey, 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 hey. I know you're going to marry him no matter what I do. So I'm just going to say, think about it. Think about it hard. And, and, and if I were you, I'd put my track shoes on and roll. But I know you're not going to. So I hope you're the guy that she thinks you are. Because you could be. And good luck to both of you. This matter is adjourned. You know, George surprised me. Uh, on paper, he didn't look good. 15 children, no job, and was going to marry somebody who was 25. But when I got out there, I saw a guy with a sense of humor, that's one thing, but also with a sense of responsibility. He seemed to really get it. And I don't know if he changed. I don't know if the injury changed him. But I know Mariah's going to stay. And I wish her the best of luck.